Okay, this one is on weighing in the charge in the heat pump in winter. Now I picked a pretty bad example for this because this is an old machine and it's got an unmatched indoor coil. Everything else is okay on it. It's TXV controlled, but it has an unmatched indoor coil. Now I weighed the charge in eight pounds, three ounces. Okay, let's take a look at the numbers. 55 on the low side, we're running about eight on the sub, uh, superheat, and we're running about 275 head with 60 on the subcool. So let's take a look at the indoor coil. Looking at my return air, I'm 67, 68. Uh, my temperature split is 25.7. Now that's with a 43 degree outside ambient. Okay. My conclusion on this thing has to be I'm massively overcharged. That high subcool tells me something. Now this machine tends to have a high subcool no matter what, but 60 degrees is a little out of hand. So, I weighed the charge in, but because I'm not matched, my indoor coil is not matched with the outdoor unit, it doesn't operate the way it's expected to. I have a 25 foot uh, line set, which is probably right for this thing. I don't have any figures on it, so I can't be sure. But usually they'll, they'll figure about 25 feet minimum line set for the factory charge. And all I've done is taken the factory charge and I've added five ounces for uh, an aftermarket dryer. One of the things I wanted to note here is you see that head pressure? It's running about 290 some. Uh, it does seem to vary around a little bit and I'm getting some variation in superheat. I'm uh, back to hunting somewhat. This thing does tend to hunt a little bit no matter what but it's pretty extreme right now. I'm going to start reducing the charge in this machine as it's obviously overcharged and I'm going to see if I can get a good balance. Okay, while I'm doing this, I decided we'd go ahead and put this thing in cooling. Now, I've got it set up with head pressure controls because it's cold out here and an artificial load. So let's look at what the numbers are at the outdoor unit. Okay, we're about 64 and a half, 9 superheat, uh, 170 on the head with about 16 subcool. Notice that subcool has changed a massive amount just because I switched this to air conditioning. Now we're going to set this thing up in the winter. We'll try to get that charge a little more accurate and we'll see if there's any change in uh, the cooling performance. So, because this is uh, this is important when you're charging these things in the winter time, uh, you still have to have the right charge for the summer, and they can get pretty complicated. I actually uh, absolutely preferred to check these things in the summer after I charge them in the winter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove charge from this thing. And I'm going to see if I can get this thing to some sort of reasonable head pressure and subcool. Understanding the whole time the, the tendency of this thing in heat is to have high subcool anyway. It's just uh, I think the mixing up of the coils is the problem there. But let's see if I can get this thing to balance out reasonably well. And I'll check it in air conditioning also. Okay, I wanted to note where we're at now. I've taken about three pounds of refrigerant out of this thing. My uh, superheat is kind of sticking around 21 or 22 so I know I've got a problem there. I've got too little refrigeration, refrigerant in it. Uh, 202 on the head, 16.6 uh, subcool, 
which is high for normal machines, but actually maybe even a little bit low for this one. So I'm going to put a little bit more charge in this thing and see if I can get it to balance out. And then I'm going to try it in cooling. Okay, after going up and down and up and down on charge, I'm at about two pounds, two ounces that I've taken back out out of that eight pound three. And let's take a look at the indoor coil. Okay, my temperature split is pretty good here, 28.6. Uh, actually almost up to 29 sometimes. That's about as high as I'm getting. I have a return temperature of 62 and a supply of 90.6. Okay, with the unit in cooling, seems to be performing okay. Uh, I've got a superheat of about 9 and subcool about 13. Uh, head and suction pressures are reasonable. So this is pretty much uh, what the charge is going to be on this thing. Okay, the end result was I originally charged this thing by weight at 8 pound 3 ounces. When I operated it, it acted way overcharged, so I ended up taking out two pounds, three ounces, leaving six pounds in the machine. So, uh, I'm going to do another video that's going to try to go over some of the conclusions of this, and we'll talk about what, uh, what actually happened here.